Welcome, King Lizard, PlayStation 4, and this is Drive Club. And we have Namil Tadu Invitational. And this is a hot hatch event. I'm driving this Merc Hot Hatch, sorry I can't remember the exact model number of this thing. It is in the, I think it's in Forza 5 as well, this car. Um, so basically, I acquired a PlayStation 4 yesterday. I had the privilege of setting it all up last night, which I quite enjoyed, about 2 o'clock in the morning. And um, this morning, after working out how to stop getting these copy protection uh, messages from the machine when I'm trying to record, which is turning off HDCP, so high density copyright protection. So I managed to get rid of that from the PlayStation console and this is the result. So uh, obviously lots of PS4 action and Xbox One action and Xbox 360 and Xbox action on King Lizard's Game Lounge now, so the PS4's joined the club, so to speak, forgive the pun. So, Drive Club, yeah, I quite like it, what I've played of it so far. I'm a level 7 at the moment, so I haven't done a huge amount of driving with it. I've only driven, you know, in terms of um, actual races within the game, the single player game, this is what I'm playing at the moment. I've only actually driven three of the tracks. Now I'm actually going to drive through those again, so you guys get to see the, you know, the bits of the career and stuff that I'm doing and what types of cars I'm driving. The biggest disappointing thing is there's no replay. I can't actually replay the race afterwards, which is a bit of a disappointment because I was really looking forward to watching the races back. Um, oh, that cheeky chappy overtaking me now on the outside. Sorry, buddy, you're in my line. A drift corner here. You get these little challenges pop up while you're racing. Um, basically, uh, you know, challenges around the track that other people have set online, and you basically, you know, your, your objective is to try and beat those if you can while you're racing. Not always possible, obviously, depending on the type of race and how hard it is and stuff, but these guys offer a fair challenge. I mean, I'm in a stock car. I can't see any level of um, tuning allowed in this game or anything, so it seems that you know you pretty much drive what you're given, which is you know fair because everyone gets the same car to drive, so um, quite competitive in that respect. Track looks very nice. This Nadir uh, uh, to, uh, to do track, the Mill to do track. Uh, another one of these challenges here is driving on the line. I just fell short there. Um, and the controller itself, quite, a, quite a, it's quite a good controller actually. It's actually gone back more the size of the PS2 controller, which I love the PS2 controller. That's kind of how I got the gaming it was on a PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll be back with more Drive Club shortly. Placing that puts me 53,000th in the world.